Ryan down here at Bizarre Guitar and Drum in Phoenix with another guitar of the day. We're very excited because we are starting to get some brand new 2020 Gibsons in stock and so we wanted to share uh, the first one that we've got in and this is a really cool guitar. This is a J45. This is their 50s original. Uh, so kind of a, they're doing the, the 50s style J45. Um, just a beautiful guitar, sounds amazing of course. Uh, I'm a big fan of Gibson acoustics, so so yeah, I mean I'm digging playing this thing. So uh, let's talk a little bit about the uh, J45. It was came about in around 1942. It replaced the J35 of course. Uh, so sort of a, a budget-minded model back in its day. Uh, it became very very popular over the years, of course. It's a legendary instrument at this point. They call it the workhorse because so many uh, artists have used it over the years. It's been the one that you always have next to you, so it's sort of like your companion. Uh, so, uh, actually, Greg, check this out. In 1942, when it came out, do you know what the retail price of the guitar in 1942 was? Well, I was around then. You were collecting social security checks. Uh, I was. I was 31 then, so uh, I want to say 300 bucks. 85 dollars. Or 85. 85 dollars was the retail price in 1942. It's like the price is right here. Um, and in in 2020 money, that is 830 dollars. I looked it up. So mm. that's what it went for back then. Uh, back then, gas was nine cents a gallon, and bread was a nickel a loaf. Yeah, so. hamburgers were a nickel. <laughs> So, anyway, so let's uh, break it down for you here. So this is uh, the 50s original J45. This is brand new. Uh, we've got a Sitka spruce top. Of course, this is sunburst. Most J45s are, are sunburst uh, historically. Uh, they did make some natural colored ones, but sunburst is what you usually find. And uh, so then we've got on the back, of course, it is mahogany back and sides. Flip that back around there. That's a very cool piece there. That's a good looking mahogany. I don't it know if is. the light's hitting it on the it camera is. as well. But, very cool. Um, mahogany. And is that a wampum neck or what? This, oh man, this C, this is a really deep, big old C neck right here, but I find it to be very, very comfortable. I, 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 feel, I feel like, you know, it, you kind of want to, something to hold on to here as you're playing these big old chords. Well, if you're going to be called a workhorse, you're going to have to be that's right. Okay, uh, so mother. I, I looked it up. The one, the one of the things that makes this uh, a little more ornate than normal is the mother of pearl um, dot inlays here. So that's uh, actually. Can't really see that here. Uh, maybe if yeah. I did, moved it thusly. Uh, Noly. <laughs> and a really cool aged binding around here that we forgot to mention as we were looking at the the body of the guitar. So yeah. on both sides, double and binding. Fifties logo and tuners. Yeah, I like these old vintage tuners too. Very cool guitar. But can you play any Gordon Lightfoot on there, Ryan? A Gordon Lightfoot, all right. Uh, let's see. I think he played a J45. Did he? Oh. I'm not sure, but I could be lying, but. <laughs> well, I probably am. I do it all the time. actually a really cool song. It is. Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Greg was one of the few survivors. I was. I actually wrecked it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're looking forward to getting some more Gibsons in. Hopefully even today all kinds of uh, Firebirds and, and uh, Les Pauls, Les Pauls and SGs, SGs and uh, we got a Thunderbird coming. We do. Okay cool. All kinds of cool stuff. And more acoustics and even some 335s. Oh, I can't wait. A blonde. I'm, I'm waiting with uh, bated breath here. I do like a blonde. <laughs> That's right. So thanks for watching. Uh, this is the uh, J45 50s original. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you for subscribing and liking and doing all that stuff that you normally do. And we'll see you next time. Something, something, something. <laughs> There's way too many words.